Morning, world. Welcome to Wednesday, 6th of October. Just in case you wonder why I'm shaking this, there is a good reason. Um, if you watched the last video, you'll know I started putting the trench in. Hang on, let me pick you up. I started putting the trench in for a drain to go up through the yard to get rid of that puddle and the water. Um, and the job has evolved a bit from there. I've actually now decided to put this trench pretty much all the way up, um, including going across the road eventually because I, I might want to pick up uh, a gutter off of that barn over there so just give you the opportunity to go all the way up and do that but um, I've had to cross electric cable now the cable I put in years ago and I know it goes from more or less that manhole cover in there to the corner of that barn so I know it's ish a straight line but I don't know exactly where it is so all I did yesterday which has scratched the top of the hardcore off. Um, I'm thinking it's down in there. Not sure, thinking. But um, before I go any deeper, I just want to mark where the cable is. Now I can do that because we have a special tool in our armory, which is the CAT scanner, the radio scanner. So. No point in me finding it if I can't mark where it is, hence the paint. So, all right, now you're up to speed. I'll come back when I've finished mixing this in a few minutes. Okay, some of you will know what this is. Some of you may well have seen one and wondered what it is. So I'll tell you. This is um, Cat and Jenny set, so basically, that's the Jenny. We're not using that today because we know we've got a live cable. We don't need it. Um, and as far as depth is concerned, um, although I could get a depth reading off of the Jenny, I kind of don't need to. All I need is this fellow here, which is the cap. So this is a cap four. Um, and basically all this thing does is it detects well, it's more like a radio current than electrical current. It detects the field around an electrical current. And I can use the sensitivity knob on the top here, this one, to kind of gauge how deep something is. So I can't be exact, but I can probably be, I don't know, within six, seven inches. This yellow knob here kind of switches on depending on what function I'm going to use. Um, today, I am just looking for electric cable. So we are all the way over to the left. We're not using the Jenny, we're not using the uh, connector on the Jenny. So, okay, I'm not gonna go into great depth about it uh, because I'd probably end up bamboozling myself again. I mean, we did the training course for this. We have actually done the training, Martin and I did it. We used to use this quite, uh, piece of kit quite a lot when we were working up in the city in Cheltenham or Gloucester when we were stump grinding up there. Lots of cables around, we kind of need to know where they are, so. Right, I will quickly go over um, this area and pick up the cable now, and you will understand what I'm doing. Okay, Let's see if we can find you. Go in there somewhere, right? There's only one cable down here.
Okay, so if I'm reading this right, and I think I am, that's basically the line of the cable, but he doesn't go in a dead straight line. It seems like he comes out to the right hand side of that post, somewhere between those two lines there. I'm going to find out. Right, I'm going to go to the barn and turn the power off down here now. So if I've made an error and I hit it, I don't kill myself. I think we'll have maybe that one. Okay, that one. Turn the lights on. I know I flicked the right switch in the barn. I think it's out building one. That one? Nope, not that one. So, that one then. That's the one. Okay, lights are off, which is always reassuring, because I know there's no power. Where did I put that spade? There he is. Right, I'm still going to have a little dig around with the spade first. Because even though I found the cable, I hope, um, I know where it is, it would not, and the power's off, it wouldn't take much to damage it. So, for the sake of a little bit of work. So I dug down a foot, what, 10 inches, couldn't find it. So I skimmed the top off and then I'm about to dig out another foot in the same place so I can find it. But there's definitely a difference in soil color here. Uh, there's my line I come across. We're pretty much, well, where the soil changes color, right on top of it. So. It was worth checking because I actually thought this was about another metre lower down. So, so hopefully, in a minute, I'm going to find me a blue pipe and a black cable. It's down there somewhere. Definitely down in there somewhere. I just want to see it. I wasn't expecting to dig a hole this deep. Okay, so I've dug down and I found a piece of fibre cement roofing sheet. I don't remember doing it, but it appears that I've laid a slither of um, fibre cement roofing sheet over the top of the pipe and um, cable, which is probably a good idea because you know if I'd been digging down with the machine, I would probably have found that and wondered what's that doing down there. Problem is though, the only way I can confirm that the cable's under there, even with the CAT scanner, is it's just just nice to see it. So I've got to break it out now and find out. But I've got to break it out real careful because I don't want to put the spade, which I sharpened only last week, through anything more than just that fibre cement sheet. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or I'll, I will be when I've dug this hole. Ah, <laughs> uh, drains. Oh, drain. Yeah, more drains. Right, we are through. I've got to dig a bit more yet. Oh no, did I put more than one in there? Oh joy. Oh. 
broke through the top one. There's another one underneath. It was a good idea at the time. I found it. There he is, that's the land drain. The cable is underneath that land drain. But at least, at least I know where it is now. Okay, so I can pull this out back up that way a bit more and then I'll come back down and finish that bit. Soon time for a cup of tea. That's it. First part's done, trench is out. Um, I'm going to have to get a few more bits, I think. I think what we're going to do, we're probably going to put a, a gully in there and then take another pipe up that way and drain everything into one pot so I've got like a, somewhere I can rod from. Kind of makes sense to do it that way. Um, it's going to be a little bit more expensive than what I'd intended originally, but long term, I think a far better job. And if I'm going to do it, I might as well do it right. Okay, it is a cup of tea time. So we're just getting some concrete mix. Done. We'll get some cement now. Right, that's cement loaded. Back to the Weybridge. past five in the evening which is the time I tend to do most of my work when everybody else has gone home but not tonight tonight and the reason I'm wearing this is I've been hijacked by my eldest daughter and we're going to cinema I'm actually quite excited I've not been to cinema for a very long time so when I was invited I said yes this lot can wait till tomorrow I'm having the evening off. Because the, so, so what was it you were saying? You just said, said so you made some out to go and get changed. <laughs> because she's wearing what? <laughs> she was wearing jeggings, and jeggings shouldn't be worn by anybody under the age of seven. Right. No, over the age of seven, sorry. Right. So Samantha looked like a young lesbian, and you look like an old gay. <laughs> I look like an old gay because I got. You look very I fashionable, so take it as a take it as a compliment. You, you look very fashionable, yes. but, but a bit gay. Yes. She doesn't she look anything like a lesbian. That's because she's got, got changed. Change. She's going to get changed. <laughs> and I don't look anything like a lesbian either. Is mum making you a cup of tea? Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. So, this isn't gay. I mean, are you wearing the Crocs? The camera down there. I'm looking at your Crocs. I know what I can see. What's on the film? I'm not stupid. I'm just. I've been the Crocs and it off. We are wearing Crocs. We can't wear those then. No, 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 she has to wear them because the yeah, trainers well, are gone. Well, I've got to wear these because they're comfortable, so. Right, enjoy right, okay, bye, bye, bye. Are you filming the whole way there? No, just a bit of it. I wasn't expecting to be out today. Well, nor was I. So I was not exactly. I was expecting to be look down there. Yeah, look at my face, like, no. Look at the scratches on your car because you can't drive. Yeah. And I'm passenger. 
very nervous. Look at the state of it in it's here. It's not me, that's Emma. What do you mean it's Emma? Emma's done these. The cans aren't mine. Whose car is this? Mine, but I let Emma and Mikey use it whenever they want. Oh, look. And it even smells like a chip shop in here as well. I know it does. Do you have no shame? I don't ever drive this anymore. So you want me to drive it then? No, if you're so inexperienced. No, I okay, we're going that way. I can't you believe she said I look like a 50 year old gay. Just... <laughs> I don't have a gay bone in my body. And I'd like to add, I've never had a gay bone in my body either. So. Right then, so what are we going to go watch? Shang Chi, The Legend of the Ten Rings. There you go, I knew that. I'm excited. Yeah, I've actually been looking forward to I've seeing been really, this. And I'm glad we're watching it now when it's like going to hopefully be quite quiet. Well, they're going to be watching James Bond there, aren't they? Yeah, so we're hopefully going to have not a lot of people in there. And we've got VIP seats. Actually, what did your mother say? 13 quid for something two VIP like seats? I think it was like um, £6.99 each or something like that. Oh, 14 quid then? Yeah. For two VIP seats? Yeah. It's not bad, is it? I thought that was quite good, actually. Yeah. But maybe they got the prices dropped down so they could attract more people in. So. I should be up to my elbows in clay and pipe now. And lube. <laughs> should be lubing my pipe and slotting it into I the next pipe. I do apologise, but this is more important. Well, you said this was the last showing? No, but there aren't many showings for the rest of the Oh, week, you must have said it was the last one. No, yeah, she, I, I don't I really know. Um, oh, I thought it was like tonight or not at all. Uh, no, I don't well, mind. We got, we, we, well, no, got... it's... The, the other times clash with my work, so like 11.30 tomorrow morning would be, I'd be cutting it quite close and I don't I'd like... I'd wait for him, Yeah, you? I don't like rushing to work. I what hate... do you do after rush to work? You live opposite. Yeah, but I don't like being in a rush. Okay, left. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. like faffing. You walk out of your door... Cross the road. Cross the road, and you're at work. Yeah. So it's hardly yeah. a rush. No. It's, I suppose the rush bit for you is getting out of bed. That's very bright. you got any sunglasses? Uh, yeah. Right. In my bag. Do you mind me rummaging in your bag? Not at all. Am I going to find anything I don't want to find? No. Sure? Yep. Not anything to bite me? No. Good. Are you going to wear them? Oh, sunglasses. sunglasses. I was going to go, what am I going to find in here? <laughs> no, that's for you. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to put them on, though. No, I don't. I need to see where I'm, I don't, I don't need to see where I'm going. You do. Where's the sunglasses? Oh, there they are. Well, they're your men. They're your, they're your um, John Lennon glasses. John Lennon, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're a bit, um, a bit rosy, aren't they? They're a bit pink, aren't they? Yeah, <laughs> yeah but you need them more than I do. Thank you. Bright light. I don't Bright need light. to clean the inside of this window, really. Yes, you do. It's dirty in here. It's all this heavy breathing you've been doing. <laughs> uh, oh, so when was the last time you and I went to the cinema? About two years ago. Is it that long? Yeah. Is it actually that long? I can't remember the last thing we watched. I think it was Men in Black, you know. Is it? Yeah. Men in Black, or it was like Endgame, maybe. I don't know. God. It's been a while. It's been a long time. Samantha and I are cinema buddies. Cinema buddies. So we've always, we both enjoy the cinema. We both enjoy similar, similar taste in, in movies. Well, it's the exact same taste in movies. Both well, similar. I don't mind a little bit more warry stuff and a bit more, you know. Um, I blood, like warry stuff. Bit, bit of blood and guts and whatever else. Yeah, I like that stuff. So. Well, we both like Deadpool. A lot of blood and guts now. I love Deadpool. Yeah. You, didn't, you didn't go much on Suicide Squad, apparently. No, I wasn't that. Um, no. It was alright. But um, 5 out of 10. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. They sold it on the success of the first one, and the first one was definitely better. Mm. So. Well, it was James Gunn as well directing it, who did Guardians of the Galaxy. See, now, Guardians of the, Guardians of the Galaxy, I enjoyed. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. So I quite fancy the green one. Zoe Saldana. Is that what her name is? Yeah, she was in Avatar. Yeah, she was also in um, Star Trek, wasn't she? Star Trek, yeah. Because yeah. she's not green in real life. No. Mind <sighs> that cyclist. I can see him. I'm just making sure. That sun is right in my eye line. Though. Yeah, and your windscreen is filthy. Yeah. Look at the state of it. It's inside. Uh, do you want to hear the story of this? I don't know, do we? So stupid. Who, um, who was stupid? You? Me. What um, did you do? I. I don't know. I 
I do? I left my windows open overnight and All right. it was during winter. Okay. And it frosted inside. Yeah, that's what car thieves do. Yeah. Leave the windows open, takes all the fingerprints off. Yeah, so it apparently like, not that I would know anything about completely that. Completely frosted the inside of my windscreen. Did it? Yeah. So I literally had to leave my car off for like five hours with the heating on full blast, trying to melt it away. So I didn't want to wipe it off because I knew that would be worse. Right. You keep so, thinking that someone stood there. I know that was a bit weird, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's actually the lamppost being hit over and covered in red and white warning tape, but it just looks like a small person standing there bending over. <laughs> But um, yeah, basically where it's like defrosted on the inside, it's left marks and it needs yeah. a good... But the thing is, I don't want to clean it because I don't think I'll do a good enough job. I well, this stuff comes work. off easy. Get a clean um, kitchen towel. Are you off No. But, um... Whose scarf is this? Fine. Even that's an improvement. I would have done that actually when we were in the shade. There we go. Shade. <coughs> yeah. no. I couldn't really reach for it across there. <laughs> I'd have to get in your lap. Yeah, but not whilst I'm driving, honestly. No, well, not at all, not actually. Not at all, really, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> not really. There are boundaries. Um. Uh, so don't do that again then. No, I, there's a lesson learned the hard way. Um, I didn't mean to, I just completely forgot I left my windows open. Okay. I'm an idiot. Yeah. So stupid. Mm. But the new job is going well. Oh yeah, I'm loving it. Have you packed in that silly makeup thing? No, I enjoy doing my makeup still. Do you? Yeah, I do enjoy I just do it kind of like now and again. Okay. Um, because I'm good at it. So Samantha's got a new job. Should we tell them what your new job is? Can do, yeah. So, What's your job title? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. What, <coughs> what do we think your job title is? I think I'm like, maybe like a supervisor sort of thing, or like a... Supervisor, assistant manager sort of type thing. Sort of thing. At a local hotel. Yeah. In the town. Yeah. So there's actually only one hotel in the town. Yeah. So that would kind of give it away where it was. Yeah. But, um, yeah, when you do the evening shifts. Yeah. yeah, I work four till like 11, four till half 11, and then, yeah. and then on the weekends I work till like midnight, or past midnight. Yeah, which just suits you because you're an afternoon late, late I'm night a, person. I'm a bit of a night owl. Um, I yeah. don't... I've you don't never, do, you've never done mornings? Never done mornings. You don't, oh, you can tell them that. I've, even when I was little, I was very yeah. good at mornings. Yeah, everybody else, well me anyway, would be up at least six hours before Samantha. Yeah, easily. Because, and then she would be to bed three or four hours after us. Yeah, yeah, um, my sleep rhythm is out of sync. <laughs> yeah, you need to move to a country where... Do you know what? When I was in America, yeah. in Florida, I woke up at 7 every day and I went to bed at 11. It was beautiful. Is it? Because they're four hours Well, you can adjust your time clock, you know, your clock is adjustable. Apparently so, but there's something to do with the metabolic rhythm. No, it's called idleness. You no, can't be asked. No. Dad, I've tried everything. No, you haven't. Yes, if you have tried everything, you would have succeeded. No, not yeah. true. I have tried. I even called the doctor. Dave had a right idea. What? Get a bloke. <laughs> <laughs> so when you wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning, we're... Fart. You, you spat you, everywhere. Oh, no, I don't, I'm sorry about that. So, I'll try again. So when you get up in the morning because you're just... Fart. Then you'll get out of bed, you see. Not much will get me out of bed in the morning. Well... Some stinking airy bloke might get you out of bed for a second. I have a bed all to myself. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but I'm okay. quite happy with it. It's a starfish. Okay. Sleep right in the middle of the bed. That's a picture, isn't it? So. Right in the middle of the bed. Yeah. When I, when I get too hot on one side, I'll switch to the other side of the bed. I can see the benefits of that. It's great, honestly. Yeah. So. so, this video today was supposed to be about me putting more pipe in. Mm -hmm. It's going to be more about us driving to... Uh... And then I showed up. <laughs> I want a bike. I want a motorbike. I do. I saw my neighbour the other day. Yeah. Mr K, he's got a um, Honda Africa Twin, which I really fancy. Mm. Uh, but wrong time, you... wrong time of year really to think about buying a motorbike. I, I think you're a bit more fragile than what you once were. So, I wouldn't bounce as well, that's for no. sure. Um, I'm more fragile than what I, well, I was telling you in my new mm. job, because although I've, it's been five years since I've worked in such an active job, but um, my back and my shoulders are suffering a little bit. I know. Yeah, so I'm, have, I'm thinking I'm going to have to start stretching. 
we should do that anyway. Stretching before and after work. Because I um, I get in after a night shift. And then That's I'll, bright. Um, yeah, I know. It's bright there, isn't it? Um, I'll get in after a night shift, sit down for five, ten minutes, go to get up and go to the toilet, and everything's seized up. And I'm like, oh god! How old are you? 28. Okay. My muscles in my back are definitely 85. I literally like um, yesterday. I woke up with such bad back pain that I had to have a bath for work with muscle soap. Really? I really did. Perhaps a bit more exercise might help you out. I do enough at work. No, I think the proper exercise. You want to walk up what now? Did you swear then? <laughs> did you swear then? So you potty mouth. So, bit of gentle exercise, nice bit of walk up the what now. You'll feel so much better afterwards. Yeah. Oh, well, you will. Yeah. Just my back and my shoulders, they're just a bit like, I think it's just where they don't, it's muscles that I have You're used. seized up. Yeah. Yeah, well then seize yourself. That's what I try to do at work, so I try to do more bending and stuff and crouching. Okay. Like my first shift, where I did so much better, like crouching, my calves completely seized up that night to the point where I couldn't crouch anymore, so I had to bend. It was yeah. ridiculous. Is that mirror very low or is it just me? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. You can see what's behind you. Yeah. You hog in the middle lane. Yeah. Pokey, 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 pokey. I'm not hogging it though because I'm overtaking. Yes, very slowly. Yeah, well, that, I could that, orange, that, that orange van. You in the car. I'm going to drive how I usually drive with you in the car. Okay. <laughs> so do you usually drive too fast? Okay, right, but I'm going to put this away now, okay. and then... We'll come back and we'll tell you what we think about the film. Yeah, if there's enough light, it's going to be dark. Your mother's, your mother's going to have to shut the birds in. Yeah, this, these cameras are rubbish, it's in dark. Oh, really? Yeah, terrible. Well, I can't take it in the cinema, I would shoot me if yeah. I took this in the cinema, so... Pirate Yeah, so I'm not a pirate, even though I come from near Bristol. Arr. Arr. You can overtake, we're just going to sit there overnight. My foot's on the floor right now, I've only got a little car. So you're not going any faster? We're going up a gradual hill already. Yeah, so what did you overtake him from down there then? Because I did. It's been a while since I've driven. Pookie, 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 pookie. It's been a while since I've driven anywhere. Oh, right, okay. That inspires confidence. <laughs> Our barn's over there. Rape looks well. Good, it's good. all green. Good. No yellow or brain bits. Oh, good. That's good to know. Don't, don't do anything funny. Please don't. What? Please don't. I'm so hungry and not in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do anything funny. They, they, and they look oh, stressed. Oh, looking dropped here. Yeah, they look stressed and very busy, so don't ruin their day. Uh -huh. I hate customers like you that think you're funny when you're not. I'm not going to do anything funny. What do you think I like? I don't know what you like, but I'm hungry. You're buying me, you're buying I'm me. buying you dinner with well, me. Well, I was going to buy you. I with was, with I... my crappy makeup thing that you say is like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to pay for it, but they said card only. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. 16.24, don't you? Pop that in. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank 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 you. Okay, I can do that. Yum yum, I'm bloody Darn starving. I'm Frank Marvin. Mm -hmm. Frank Marvin? Yeah. Or even Hank Marvin? That's exactly what I said. Not Frank Marvin. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe you've never been through a drive through I don't think I've ever been through a drive through I live in drive throughs Oh, 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 oh. It looked better on the picture. I, uh... Oh my god. This is so good. Are you eating the chip bags of chip fries? Some of them are mine. Might have been. Oh. Mm. Oh my god. What did we have again? A, a 
someone was knocking on my car. Yeah. Man. A, a cheesy bacon, is, um, bacon. Double cheese and bacon extra large. It's not happy. Okay. Um. You'll get indigestion. Take your time. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Right. Right. That's dirty. Right, it's so bad for you. Hmm. That's what we call a dirty burger. You're going to regret it in like half an hour, but whilst you're eating it, it's the best idea in the world. Just take your time. I don't want to. Oh. I'm so hungry. Mm. Well, the best time to go, worst time to go for that is when you're hungry. Mm. I don't get indigestion. The smoked bacon, is it? Mm, I think so. Mm. Those chips are hot. Hot chips. What do you want? Mm. So, although I don't encourage talking when reading, oh. how do you direct the film? So good. Good? <laughs> oh, I'm out for it. <laughs> I loved it. I thought it was good. I loved it, but I think... I wouldn't say it's my favourite Marvel film. You said it was your favourite. I think it might be my new favourite, yeah. Because... But I think also there was a lot of nostalgia involved as to why I loved it so much. Mm. <laughs> because I was like so happy to be there. Like when the trailers came on. Yeah, we don't want to give away too much because not everybody's seen it. But no, I know. But when the trailers came on for all the other movies, and then when it just started like happening and everything was happening, I was just so happy to be back in the cinema that I. So got... with the trailers, I definitely want to watch Jude. Yeah. James Bond. Yeah. Venom. Yeah. I want to watch Venom. Although I, I think I might be okay with watching Venom at home. Mhm. Mm you know what I mean? Mhm. Mm James Bond and Dune definitely. Um. Is it June or Dune? Well, I would call it June. That's why, but June is like with a J, isn't it? Well, June, June. June, as in Sun June, just spelled with a D. Oh, no, that's. Um, well, I think you're right. I think we should watch your old original one first. Yeah, we'll watch it before so that I can remember. Well, I can see. Because I. There's an Atreides I want to kill. I haven't seen that movie since I was a child. Who said that? The, I don't know. I, it, I was a child when it came, like, when I watched it with it you. It was Sting. Uh-uh. Oh. Sting. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sting from the police. You shut your face. Sting from the police. Oh, my God. Played the ginger. No, I'm trying to think of his name. Oh, no, yes! Yes! Oh my god, seriously, I was, I remember watching that film with you as a child and it's scaring the crap out of me. I was saying this to like, a friend of mine the other day, like the sort of films that I watched growing up and I was like, so yeah, Dune, Lady Hawk, Beetlejuice, Star Wars, you know, like all the, all the classic Starship Troopers, which you let me watch far too young. That's a good film. Yeah, you, I love it. During all the gore I watched it, but when the sex scene came on, you made me leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> well, like gore and stuff, that's okay. Hmm. <laughs> you were too young for titties. Mm -mm. But, um, what else did we watch when we were kids? Like, what, what were the 80s movies that we watched? Like, big ones. Like Lethal Weapon. Yeah, Mad Max. Back to the Future. Yeah. Do you remember when we went to watch the new Mad Max? And, um, I feel like there were people in that cinema that hadn't seen the original Mad Maxes. Yeah. So they were like, what the is going on with this movie? But me and you just kept looking at each other going, we know. Mad Max. <laughs> this is Mad Max. Yeah. Like, like, and the goose. There's like the, the, the stage with all the good musics and they're like playing rock music as they're chasing. We're like, Mad Max. <laughs> mm. Mm. Me, your mother didn't like the original Mad Max film. No. So one of my favourite films, favourite films of the 80s, still. What's that? Life of Brian. Life of Brian. See, I prefer Holy Grail. Out of the two. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah. I think it's uh, Holy Grail funnier. More mm. happens. I think it's more a better story to Loaf of Rome. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. But Holy Grail is a bit more silly, I think, and I like silly. Mm. Mm. So what do you think for your uh, your first drive-through dinner? I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> 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 And I seem to be demolishing it faster than you, mm. after telling you to slow down. But I was hungry. Mm. That's right. Mm. Bit dry. Mm. Oh. It's so good. But yeah, no, I thought the film was brilliant. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I was really happy to be there. There's one or two characters that turned up in there, so I'm not going to say. Mm. But um, one character in particular that I was very surprised to see and pleased to see. Which one's that? Sir Ben. Ah. Uh. I'll say no more. I didn't I didn't expect to see him. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was really good. Hmm. So there you are. That's our review. What? Well, we're stuffing our faces with burgers and chips and... Living well, our best lives. Cheers. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I've missed this. Cinema buddies. Life is starting again. Mm-hmm. Starting to go back to normal. Well. Ish. There's some things I hope don't come back. Like what? Well, they've already come back at him. Selfish and antisocial types of behaviour, that's so. Yeah. Unfortunately, you'll never get rid of that. Hmm. But. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> I'm going to finish my last mouthful in private. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm. Bye! Bye!